Emma, great to have you here. Fantastic Olympic Games. Are you still buzzing? Are you still on a high? <laughs> yeah, definitely. Um, even when some people say to me, like, are oh, you Olympic champion or how does it feel to be Olympic champion? Like, even saying that is surreal. So, yeah, it was such a crazy week and I still, like, I wish I could do it all over again because it was amazing, but yeah. Did you get much sleep? Yeah, so obviously I had three events. So after the gold medal, you have like doping and things. And then I got back at, I think, midnight. And then me and Katie, I was in the sharing room with Katie and we were just kept staring at it and like talking to each other. And luckily the next day I had a rest day. So I didn't have to like be super um, like important on my sleep. But yeah, that night was, I couldn't sleep. Like I literally couldn't sleep. And Katie, yeah, we just kept looking at each other and talking about it, but... Yeah, I just put it under my pillow and obviously I had two other events to like crack on with. But yeah, it was such a surreal feeling. Did you, how did you manage to focus after that? Because I, get your tr I guess, you're tr of course, you're training for success, but there's no training for like, are oh, you going to win the gold? And then you've got two other events afterwards, is there? I don't, I've, I've not seen that in a coaching manual. <laughs> yeah, um, my friend, actually, Beth Shriver, was like, how do you do it? Because obviously she only does one event. So yeah. for her, she's done. Whereas for me, obviously, I had three. And... Yeah, I guess you can't prepare for it because I've never done an Olympic Games before, but I've had like tasters, I guess, at like Nations Cups and things where you do well in competition, you kind of have to reset and go again. But yeah, that feeling on that night, like I just wanted to keep watching the race and keep looking at it. But that that second day when I had a rest there kind of like took my like took my time, like remembering it and go through it. And then I was like, right, I got a reset for the Kieran's the next day because obviously I had two more events to focus on. and. Like, the job wasn't done, um, even though it did feel like it has. Can you compare the Olympics to anything else? Of course, you're a world champion as well. But what are they, what's the difference between, for you, or, or was it to you just another competition? Because the Olympics is something just extraordinarily large, isn't it? Yeah, um, it's really strange because you go into it and, like, we've spoken about that is just another bike race to try and, like, help you deal with the nerves and deal with the pressure. But when like it is different like it is really special and like when I got to the track I saw that the rings were on the track which I've never obviously been to a track like that before so that was really new for me and obviously the media attention around it was really big but when you're in your little bubble like we spoke before like all the athletes are in their little bubble we're racing a bike race and obviously the crowd is huge but it's when you finish and when you come out of it and you come back home everyone's like oh I saw you on tv and like it was on like every TV and obviously being British on BBC Sport and things. So, yeah, I think that really makes you realise like how big the Olympics is and like how many people are watching it and like people being inspired by it. So, yeah, once you're in your little bubble, you're kind of closed off from it. But yeah, it was huge. Honestly, it was huge. And what have the last 12 days been like? Then that sort of transition from a winning Olympic gold, another couple of medals as well, and then moving away from the village and some semblance of normality. How have you coped with that transition? Yeah, it's been it's been nice come back home. Um, I actually went back to Wales to see my family, which was really nice because I didn't see them very often because obviously I train in Manchester and they were there throughout the week um, at the Olympics and they said they felt like they raced the races with me because they were there emotionally for me, supporting me. And yeah, it was been really nice to come back home. I've done a few interviews. Um, I haven't actually been back to Manchester yet, so I think that would be really nice to go back there and see everyone. But yeah, it's just been a bit of a whirlwind, to be honest. Now, you made history as the first woman in 60 years to win three medals on the track for Team GB. I mean, making history. The gold medal itself, but then the, the, the significance of that in, in, the, in terms of history. Have you managed to get your head around that? Um, not really, no. When I came off, um, I actually got the stats, like, told to me, like, you have. And I was like, what? I didn't even know that was, like, achievable or even, like, you could make history from that. So, yeah, that is pretty amazing that I've done that. And obviously going into a bike race, you don't think about afterwards or, like, how it comes across. But, yeah, I just wanted to do my best for British Cycling and Team GB and, yeah, to come away being the first woman, well, the second woman to do that is amazing. You're clearly somebody who's very, very confident. Now, you did make uh, an impressive claim before the Games that you wanted to win three gold medals, which yeah. is, which is, I mean, you wouldn't do the Games yeah. being world champion, not yeah. win three gold medals. So, so does a part of you think, hmm, wouldn't mind changing those golds, so, sorry, the bronzes for golds, or are you content with what you've got? Um, obviously saying it's one thing, like I did want to go to the Olympics and win three gold medals. And after winning the first one and getting the two bronze, it's like the hard work that goes into it and like, it was such an emo emotional week for me and yeah, having to deal with all the pressure and things like I'm really proud with the gold medal and two bronze. And yes, I would have loved to come back with three gold medals, obviously, and that would have been amazing. But I'm actually really content with how I 
conducted myself on the track, how I like pushed myself every day to be the best version of myself. And yeah, to come away with three medals, like I'm really grateful for and I'm just really proud of that. Have you had any thoughts about the next Olympic cycle yet? Have you, if, it's a long way away, Los Angeles, but as we know, these Olymp Olympic cycles do come around very quickly. Have you started thinking about that yet? Um, I've never actually done like a full cycle, um, so that would be quite interesting to go through the full four years, but obviously it is a long way away and I just want to take each race as it comes. Um, I've got Worlds in eight weeks, so yeah, that's, that's the next race. Yeah, um, so obviously LA is the next big goal, but I've got a lot of small goals to come up to that. Training, sprint training is brutal, isn't it? Yeah. So what bit do you like, what, but what bit do you despise? Um, I really like the track training. I love like how specific it is and how like it's really, you can see that you're gaining progress quite quickly because like you have measurements of like time and like efforts are quite specific. Whereas in the gym, I hate the gym. Right, like, okay. Yeah, I just find it quite, it's really hard to see progression and and yeah, I just like riding my bike and going fast and the gym part I struggle with. But I've learned over the years that obviously gym is really important for track cycling. Like you need to be powerful, you need to have big legs, you need to yeah produce power and to do that you need to be strong in the gym. So I've learned to enjoy it a bit more. But yeah, definitely track cycling and the enjoyment of going fast is my favourite part. Finally, you're only 21 years of age, world champion, Olympic champion and all the rest. Jo Rousel has gone on record to say that she thinks you could be one of the greatest riders of all time. How do you, how do you feel about that? I don't even know. <laughs> um, obviously, it's really exciting to hear and I'm just, yeah, even go to my first Olympics. Like being an Olympian to me was a dream and coming away with three medals is a bonus. Like it's more than I could have ever dreamed of. So, yeah, I'm just going to keep doing me and keep riding my bike and enjoying it. And yeah, we'll just see how far I can get. But yeah, it's really exciting to hear people like that say that.